Hello everyone, this is Eva Brandis and I'm the owner of Lakewood Conservatory and Park City School of Music. Uh, I'm here today to give you a little orientation about our summer camps that take place every summer at Lakewood Conservatory. And uh, I'm going to also send you an email with all the rules and regulations that have been crafted by us for um, based on the experiences from last uh, 13 years. Um, therefore, I we really want to ask you for taking every point of this, taking time to read each point of those rules and regulations and to take them very seriously. Um, they are based on the experiences we have encountered through the years. And um, many people who come to take our camps they arrive from different parts of DFW uh, Metroplex. Uh, they're not our students. Most of the time, there is very few of Lakewood Conservatory and Park City School of Music students. There are mainly people who did hear about us from different types of advertisement, uh, from um, as a referral, they were referred to us, but by different schools and organizations. As a side note, I want to let you know, it hasn't been announced yet, but um, because uh, Dallas advocate, uh, advocate asked me to hold this as a secret until um, August, that we have been chosen, well, we are a runner up uh, to be the best of yeah. Dallas advocate for um, actually program our programs in Lakewood Conservatory and those programs are summer camps and uh, group activities so we are very proud of it we'll be celebrating in August but I just want to give you a heads up so we have to raise to the occasion and really show our community and the whole DFW Metroplex that we are one of the best summer camps facilities uh, for summer camps. So uh, with that, I am not going to read every point because it would, the video would be very, very long. But I am here to stress how important it is to take every point very seriously. And we do let you, we do give you lots of uh, freedom in the way how you teach your camp. Uh, some of the camps have curriculums that were developed by me but we also even though that they were developed and uh, set up you know in a different way in many different ways we give you still a possibility of expanding and making those camps better and uh, implementing your teaching style however there are some set rules and strict rules that has to be followed one of them is tardiness we there is zero tar, tar, uh, tolerance when it comes to no shows and tardiness it will um it will um resolve in a teacher dismissal uh you know certain things we are truly willing to help you as an administration we are willing to help you with your car issues for example if you have a flat tire or your cousin, uh, your car doesn't start in the morning. Let us know right away. But also, we are all adults. You know, if if something like that happens, there are alternative ways of getting to you, uh, LCFA. You can take an Uber or Lyft. There is, we can send you someone to pick you up. Of course, within reason. And if we are notified way ahead of time. If we have time to plan on that, we will send someone to pick you up. But again, this is all within reason. Now, if you are sick, there are ways of, you know, I understand certain sicknesses are contagious. You cannot show up. Let us know in the middle of the night. I will take a call and the message that you leave or a text message at 3, 4 a.m. So I'm ready and we can plan ahead at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning. 
it is very important for a smooth operation of all the summer camps that we have a teacher, healthy teacher in the morning. So we'll plan accordingly if we know about it. Do not cancel a camp on your own. I think you won't be able because we have all the data of, of the parents, but let us know. We will come up with an alternative solution for your absence. Please, I know you all love roof and she is everything to you and she is the 411 for you and I mean 911, <laughs> that's what I mean. And uh, you love talking to her and chatting with her. However, her minutes are counted. She is far stretched with responsibilities that she's carrying, daily responsibilities. Plus, she has a family and that she has to actually attend the family after when she's done with her work. So after 5 p.m., between 5 p.m. and 7 a.m. of next morning, she is with her family. So please don't bother her. Bother, yes, you can leave a message, you can send us a text message, but don't expect that we'll reply to it sooner than 7 a.m. of the next day. I do wanna let you know that, you know, chit-chatting with Ruth is highly discouraged because she has no time for it. And we don't have time during the camp. Camps are busy time and kids are busy. If you have 10 kids in your camp, you have no time for chit-chatting. You shouldn't have time to even come to the front desk and talk to Ruth. Of course, another thing is that she is not your helper. We are going to have a help helper, I'm sorry, paid helper, uh, and we had it for many years. So I do want to let you know there will be a 16-year-old boy that is going to help with camps this year, like we had it last year, and uh, he's going to assist you with anything and everything that he can, but he is not going to run, run or teach your camp. So all of that is in the email. More, much more, many details is in the email. We love that you are creative. Teachers are very creative creatures, especially the art teachers, music teachers. We love the, and want to cherish your creativity, your input. However, uh, please leave this uh, creativity for maybe teaching your private classes. Camps are pretty much set, you know, the way how we teach, the rules and regulations and policies of the camps are set. If you want to alter them, um, that's probably not the place for you to be because we know what our parents want. We know what our parents expect from us in a camp and we cannot, uh, you know, we, we would love to let you do it as you want it, but we really have to know what you want to do. So that's what I'm saying. If you have any suggestions and creative ideas, let us know before the camp, but we don't change them on the spot. You know, uh, especially the rules and regulations that I'm talking about. This cannot be changed. This has to be followed, period. Um, but if there are some ideas for the camp, and one of the things that I do want to ask you for, if you have problems or some, you know, uh, you need some help with how to run the camp, what activities you want to do, I am here to help you. And, you know, even though that I mainly used to teach uh, music camps, I have many years of experience with all the camps that we offer. So I would love to talk to you uh, about each camp before you teach. I think talking about the camp on Sunday uh, night, when your camp st starts on Monday, it's a big no-no. You have to plan this ahead. You have to plan this ahead of time, how you will teach the camp, what you're gonna teach, what supplies do you need? Because you need to let us know about supplies for a camp at least one week before, so we could buy them. So that's, you have also, I know your camps were scheduled many weeks before, many months before. 
you committed to certain camps. So I hope that, you know, by now, you know what you're going to teach in those camps. The camps will start next week, May 30th. So we have still a couple days to figure that out. So I need you to take a minute, think about it and give me a call or shoot me a text. We'll schedule a call and we'll talk over everything that you need to know. Another thing that I want to let you know that I will be sending you contracts for each camp, well, for the summer and all the camps you guys are teaching. And I will do so by, by next, within next two days. Uh, we do not take coffee and tea break uh, during the camps. Uh, I know it's harsh. Have the coffee, tea ready in uh, in some kind of you know container, thermostat. Oh, no, not thermostat. <laughs> I don't know what is it called. Anyway, um, any, uh, so anyway, have it ready for you know several hours but going to a kitchen and taking time on making those drinks is probably a hazard for children because children left even for one second can can do lots of damage uh, we also as you know had a few incidents with a window outside um in a studio a uh, we we actually had two incidents in a row where the the, the rock hit a window front window and it uh, completely crashed uh, we were lucky that there was no there was no children or people next to the window while that happened uh, we will want to we want to ask you when when children will be in the front room studio a uh, there will not be kids hitting running against those window and you know they tend to run and just you know with full full force just hit it uh, that we we try to avoid that just because I just don't trust you know the landlord has changed the windows twice already uh, he assured me that the window is secure and strong um, but for my own security and the security of children I I don't want children to be near those windows there, therefore you know I do ask you not to let the kids do whatever they want during the times when we gather children before uh, the activities in the morning they have to go to studio a and just wait for all the kids to arrive to all the parents check in and then dismissal the all all the kids has to be dismissed in a you know we have to check ids driving license that takes time i need two adults at all times with kids and we, they have to be playing games. They cannot just be doing whatever they want. Uh, they have to either spend time singing songs, playing some group games. I don't want them to be uh, running around and doing whatever they want to do. This is not, that, that's not a playground. It's actually indoor. It's not even a play uh, indoor playground. We don't have a playground. This is a room that we have organized activities in that room. So I want those, or I need you to think of activities. I can send you a list of activities. However, one of the activities that everybody loves is musical chairs. And the kids can play musical chairs until probably the whole summer long and they will not get bored with it there are a couple other games that they can play you can guys play and if you don't have any ideas i will gladly share with you those ideas there will we will be checking driving license upon checkout uh, and this is a law the parent parent you guys will have copies of the driving license for each child and they have to present the driving license to you and you have to check that the picture matches the picture that you have on file um, snack and lunchtime quickly you know it's easy easy kids eat and there is no we don't allow food fights if there is a spilled drink please have um, our helper to wipe the floor uh, it is a hazard for both campers and you the wet floor um, grand piano. Grand piano is a 
you know, unfortunately, a, you know, kind of a hard situation because I cannot remove that grand piano at all. Uh, it is very expensive to do it. And the piano alone is $20,000. We want to make sure that kids don't bump into it, don't uh, draw on it, don't scratch it, don't hide under it. It, mo it most probably will be covered around with the blue um, mats, but kids tend to even when they see a mat, they tend to run into the mat and just hit it and bounce off. We'll make sure they don't do it because actually not the whole mat has a, you know, like half of the piano is, you know, the legs and empty space around. So if they hit low, you know, the mat will collapse on them. Uh, I mean, again, if this is a three-year-old child, you know, it might be a traumatic experience for them. So we want to avoid any traumatic experience for the kids and anything that could be a, can be a hazard. Okay, that's Mimi snoring. Um, I'm looking through all those. Uh, when you guys, um, the most important is on informing kids about rules we'll have a set of rules for children uh, that you guys i want each teacher to read in the morning of each day it will be helpful for, to you as a teacher and making sure that they follow those rules and uh, and it will help you to run the camp smoothly so we'll deliver that to you shortly and of course if you want to add any of the rules that you feel like they're you know, uh, even better for your campers for that particular camp, please do so. And uh, just going, scrolling through this, uh, please don't plan, we know, we all know that the camps finish at 3 p.m. Please plan on being there until your last child is signed out and until you take care of your room. Uh, it is not really a cool scene when the teacher runs out at 3.01. Uh, you, you know, honestly, it is big no-no because I, you know, it, it, you cannot just leave your kid. It's, it's not allowed to leave the kid. And I know there is many adults, but each camp teacher has their own group to take care and Ruth has to take care again probably attend so many issues that has you know we, we besides camps we have private classes we have toddler music group classes we have really lots of other things going on in the summer so trust me uh, you are responsible for that group during that week okay um, Please communicate. We do want you to communicate with us. Yes, I do stress, highlight, bolded letters that we are busy, but we do wanna hear from you. The best time to communicate in person is Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's when it comes to roof. If you wanna talk to her, it's Monday through Friday 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. You are most welcome to always write an email. And this is the last thing. Not, I don't want to make this too long. Um, after reading the email with all the rules and regulations and all the details, if you plan not to comply with mention above rules, please let us know right away and we'll find a replacement for you. We don't want you to teach if you are not a rule follower. We have 300 kids right now signed up. By the end of the summer, we probably will host 400 children through, you know, 4,500 square feet in Lakewood. We'll have to re renovate the whole facility for fall semester because, you know, that's how they butcher our school. So therefore, to comply with state law, 
that tell us to keep kids secure, secure in our facility and not to have any problems with, uh, you know, with parents and from parents, please follow the rules. If you plan not to do so, let us know and we will gladly find a replacement for you because this is how important, that's how important it is to follow those rules. And that's why I, we took, you know, it took a while to write this email. And also I took time to send you that video. So thank you for your time. Thank you for taking time. You know, we, we did want to have orientation, live orientation with you all. But I think at this point, everybody is way too busy and overscheduled. That's why I'm sending this video. That's why we are sending the email for your signature that you read and you agree and you will comply with all the rules and regulations. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the summer. Well, I may not see you, but Ruth will see you in the summer. And, and you know, we want to hear from you. But I am cheering for all of us. And I know we'll have an amazing summer and amazing summer camps. And maybe, who knows, next year we'll actually win that award from Dallas Advocate to be the best of Dallas. Thank you and have a great day.